In today's video, we're going to discuss what's going to happen to the stock market, especially after the CPI data has been reported today. We're going to look at some stocks to keep on your watch list and a stock that I'm actually buying, that I've been buying and where that's going to go within the next few days. All right, so let's dive right into the charts. Right off the bat, we got the SPY over here. And guys, in the last video, Again, the title of the last video was Massive Move Incoming. And I released it after the seconds, all right? And in that video, I told you I watched the market for an initial move to 4,400 at first. I said it wasn't too far-fetched that we see 4,400. And we tested that level on, on this three times, actually. And then on Friday, which is last Friday, we made a massive push and a huge squeeze it was a big day i thought it was kind of surprising i thought we would like fall a little bit lower before we make this move before this move originates from the lows of like maybe 4300 i didn't think it was going to break 4400 on that specific friday but it did and it closed in strength which really changed my perspective from um sideways to slightly bearish consolidation to like a bullish and a breakout for this specific week all right now let's look at the cpi report so the cpi report came out and this is how it's been trending throughout the last few months all right and this is september cpi and this is october cpi as you can see there was a drop by 0.5% in the inflation data, which is good, all right? If you look at the bottom, what they expected was a 3.3 consensus. And it turned out to be 3.2, and the market liked it a lot. Everything started to spike immediately, and a lot of money has been made today. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Let's go back to Tinker Swift. All right, and with this move, again, the money literally... I don't want to say it just started, but there is more room for um, there is more room for the stock market to climb. The next level to watch for is where these individuals are. There were short sellers located here, all right. They were causing a little bit of trouble for literally four days straight. It was very boring. Like those specific days, I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. These days were very very boring. Um, and then Friday, things started to get a little bit more fun. But the same thing again is going to occur right over here at these levels, right at 45.67. There are shorts right there. And when they get tested, again, it's going to be a tough battle. Like we might see some turbulence intraday. If we break it, there's going to be a lot of volume and we're going to see a push even higher towards 4,600. It's very, very near. Um, I definitely believe that we're going to get there on friday all right it could happen sooner we got three more days to go we got three more days to go but i definitely think that it can get to 4600 on friday let's zoom out a little bit more and see all right so we got this level next and then 4600 is pretty much where these guys are right there all right so we got two more levels to watch for and right now, um, the, the the markets are up by 0.35%, which is good. In the morning, it could be up by a lot more, maybe 0.6% before pushing up another, right? Again, before pushing up even higher. So watch watch for these. Now let's do, um, let's see here. The stock that I've mentioned before, the stock that, I'm t I'm, that I've been buying, that stock that y'all should be keeping on watch, we're going to look at, tesla all right and tesla tesla i shared this one i talked about it in the last video i definitely did um i explained to y'all exactly why i thought it was gonna go to 235 last i think like two weeks ago no on on this specific day right here on the six or the seven yeah i told y'all watch it for a move up to 235 on a six or the seven it didn't quite get there. The highest it got was 226 before pulling back and before playing games. But it was playing games for a good reason. All right. What it was telling us is that for 
is that um, the bear trap that occurred over here. All right, we have this drop followed by bears being trapped. This is a left shoulder. This is a head. And this is a right shoulder right here on the side. All right. And this is, I believe this was Monday. Yeah, Monday. So Friday, it looked like this. The right shoulder was there. And then um, Monday morning, it had a little dip before running even higher. It got through the neckline, which is at 220. The neckline is at 220. And there's some short sellers right here at 226 that are going to contribute to the massive push. All right. The reason why I got it again, I'm sharing it now. I saw this thing on Friday and I had to buy calls of it. I bought calls again. This is the 10. I bought calls on there um, that expire on the 24th and the price target that I gave for that one, as you can see on the chart, is right at 255. That green circle, which is right next to the 17th, I think it's going to get exactly in the green circle. I think like exactly on time. I think that's going to happen. So as the stock has been climbing up, I've been obviously, you all know how I trade when things climb in my favor, I tend to take some profits off the table. I've been holding and this was yesterday. Um, I sold some when I got near 224 ish. All right. And then I held the rest and I'm still holding more for tomorrow because I don't think it's done yet. No, I definitely don't think it's done yet. Again, I press target the green circle right up here because that's where the next line of short sellers are and like right around 247. So it's going to get there sooner rather than later. If it doesn't get there tomorrow, then it might take a sweet time and drag its feet and get there on Friday morning to be exact. All right. So that's the side that I've been buying. I'm holding it and yeah, watch it for long. Now, the next stock that I'm going to share with y'all again, I know this is the main one, but there's other stuff to discuss. Uh, Apple. Apple had earnings last week and Apple kind of held like it held its own. This was an earnings killer, an IV crush, which was what I was really hoping for. And it's been on an uptrend ever since. It's a little bit of a choppy uptrend, but it is still an uptrend. It's still an uptrend. As long as you don't give in to these fakes, these are these are intended to trap bears. Every time you see these little dips, bears try to short it. Like right here and again right here. Again, they're just they're just traps. The trend is bullish. It's been bullish. Um I don't think I, I think that we're going to go all the way up to 190. It's really, really close to it. It's only three dollars away. All right. And the way everything else is going, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets there tomorrow. So with Apple, there are some good chances that it gets to 190 either tomorrow or, thir or Thursday. So that's that's my thoughts on that one. Now, the next stock that I want to share with y'all, this one has earnings coming up. And there could be a lot of volume and there could be massive opportunity. So we're going to talk about it today just to get you all ready for tomorrow morning. They're reporting earnings tomorrow morning. We're going to delete all that, making it real clean. All right. Now, this is JD. And JD has earnings tomorrow morning. It's been beaten down for a very long time from the highs of 107. And right now it's at 20, uh, $26, $27. So with the way it's looking, there is there is an island gap reversal on the chart. This is the island right here. This is the first gap down. And this is the second gap up, leaving bears trapped in here. All right. I'm thinking the reaction is going to be great. And um, I'm thinking that we're going to run all the way up towards $29. Actually, no, towards $30 yeah because that gap get a fill and all gaps eventually get filled at some point in time if the reaction is really really good then yeah i think it's a possibility it might not open at 30 but if it opens up like at 28 ish these shorts who are located here they're going to cover and then they're going there's going to be a squeeze so watch the chinese sector for a long as well 
that is my honest thoughts on all of these stocks and that is the end of the video again do not forget to demolish the like button as always don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel all right if you'd like to get all of this information in real time as i see them along with the details of the contracts that i trade and uh the strike price and most importantly why i take the trades that i take to begin with that way you learn as you are part of the community you can find the discord link as the first link in the description of the video below all right um don't forget to follow me on social media at paul and guma and if i knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is new to you if you're just sitting in a started in the stock market there's some basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below step one to step three it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to have all the tools you need to start trading immediately you can also get some free stocks after setting up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below what skill is shipment my name is Paul Guma for our knowledge lab where we trade patterns patterns only and I will see all of you in the next video.